Hello everyone, again my name is Oliver Wiese. I'm so excited to be here this morning. Uh, in continuation of the series we began a few days ago on prepositions. Today, specifically, we'll be looking at the prepositions of direction and movement. So, I just want you to sit back and just imagine us living in the world where uh, we have no movement we are just standing or sitting in one place and nobody is moving towards you you know are you moving towards somebody i believe it will be a world that will be so difficult to live in and so we are made to move and our movements are surrounded by directions so in english you have few words that describe directions and uh, movement so for today like i said we'll be looking at those words in order to effectively and comprehensively communicate or write those words include to into onto through to us at away from from, off, out, and across. There may be other little words that donate direction, but today we'll be focusing on this field. Beginning with to, you use to to show direction. For example, John is going to school. Okay? You will not say, you wouldn't say John is going in school. No. You will say John is going to school. Okay, the next one is into. One word. Not separated. Right? One word. Into. So into denotes the idea of coming from outside and going to the inner part of a space. So for example, uh, you can tell your son, go into the room and get me a glass of water into. I'm going into my office to prepare the report. That's how you do it, into. Then we have onto. That speaks of, you know, a surface. But with motion, you can say the cat. The cat jump onto the bed. Onto the bed. Because there's a motion there. The cat jumped onto the bed. You know, so the position of the cat is on the bed, but it jumped onto the bed. All right, now we have through. It's also an action of direction. You can pass through a checkpoint. Yes, you can pass through this door to get out. It's direction. Then you have toward. Now the word toward can also be towards. It means the same thing. In American English, you say toward without the S. In British English, you say towards. You have the S there, towards. The Americans, they remove the S, say toward. But it means the same thing. Now, towards will, will tell you about a destination of a place. For example, I'm going towards RIA. I'm going was RIA. RIA means Rabers International Airport. I am going towards RIA. You also have art. AT art. Art can denote a direction. Let's say for instance, I want to aim at the bird. 
or the police arrested the robber who shot at the lady direction at the note direction away from also we talk about a movement and direction okay i'm going away from this this man because he's criminal you can go away from shows direction from also shows direction and movement he's coming from japan to liberia okay we also have off you no know, to get off to get off something and you know, to leave i will get off this car because the engine is not working well you can also get out of meaning leaving an inner part and going outside we also have the last one which is across 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 um we will go across the street to register this child <laughs> yes it also shows direction the car is parked across the road direction so understanding the uses of these little words will improve your speaking and your writing skills so once again i want to say thank you for taking up the time to watch this video i believe you learned something somehow new today and so if it is your first time here on this channel i encourage you to just subscribe so that you will receive subsequent videos as we produce them every monday and wednesday i will be producing 